What's going on? Alright, I have not made a video recently, uh, any this week. Um, as far as last week, that was a big win. We got FIU this week. I really have nothing to say. I've looked at their depth chart. Uh, defensive and offensive line seem pretty small. I think we're going to get a good push on both sides of the ball. Uh, they got a number four receiver that Nick Saban has talked about. It's a pretty good playmaker. So, um, I still think we're going to blow them out. It's probably not going to be a very close game. Uh, they're going to struggle to score on our defense, I think. I wouldn't surprise. I wouldn't be surprised over like a zero to uh, twenty-eight to zero at halftime, something like that. But I want to see how we play against a less hype, you know, opponent, a less hype game. Because last year, if you watch last year, Alabama. And Tulane, we beat them 20 to 6, but we look very sloppy. I want to see how our team can come out and play against a team um, that's, you know, that the game is not over, you know, is not hyped up. You know, that's that was our problem. We came out, we played some teams uh, the past years, and we've played down to them, and we've looked sloppy in some games. So I want to see how we can come out and execute and uh, really just have this game over with by halftime. That's what we should do. I mean, we're the number four team in the nation. We need to play like the number four team in the nation and come out and do what we got to do, which I think we will. I think Nick Saban is very good at preparing his team. Um, but as far as this week, Mark Ingram's been out with the flu, I think, this whole week. Uh, I think a lot of carries are going to come with Upchurch and Richardson. I think we're going to see a lot of TR this week, Trent Richardson, the freshman running back which I'm, I'm anxious to see him. They moved Terry Grant over to wide receiver. Um, you know, Terry Grant is a warrior. I mean, Nick Saban loves Terry Grant. Um, from all I've heard, Nick Saban likes his, how he works, how he comes out there and practices. He wants, to have, he wants to find a role for Terry Grant on this team. And when the depth chart came out, Terry Grant was the number two running back. But... They've now they're they're going with you know Ingram being the first running back, Upchurch being the second, and Trent Richardson being the third. So the backfield is pretty you know we've got it pretty stocked. So they're going to try to move Terry Grant over, and I, I hope he does good. And I really do. Um, he's a little small. He's, I think he's five nine, but he's fast. Marquise Mays is not Marquise Mays is not is not very big, but he's fast, so he can get open. So maybe Terry Grant can be like Marquise Mays. Uh, we'll just have to see how that plays out. Um, as far as this week, I think Georgia's got something to prove playing South Carolina, which I think they will. Um, LSU's got something to prove playing Vanderbilt. You know, they, they're they supposed to be, it's supposed to be a three-headed monster in the West. It's supposed to be Alabama, Ole Miss, and LSU. Well, last week, you know, they traveled to Washington, which was the longest trip they've ever made to play a football game. And uh, they didn't play very well. I don't know if it was the time zone or if Washington had a new coach, if they were hyped up and ready to go. But I'm ready to see how LSU can compete, see if they uh, can actually blow Vandy out and see how good of a team LSU actually is. Um, of course, everybody knows the Notre Dame-Michigan. Y'all are going to see that all week. You know, Lou Holtz is going to be up there talking about it and doing all that stuff. But I think Notre Dame's going to win that one. Uh, USC versus Ohio State. Uh, I think USC is going to beat them, but it's going to be tough for a freshman quarterback on his second college game going into the horseshoe and playing at Ohio State. Uh, it'll be a good game to see that. Um, but as far as uh, there's not really much to talk about. I mean, we're playing FIU, uh, and then we got North Texas next week. It may be two back-to-back -back pay per view games. I don't know. Maybe we'll get North Texas on a little channel somewhere. I don't know. But I predict them being both pay-per-view. I've already got mine ordered. I'm ready to go. But like I said, there's really nothing to talk about. Uh, on the recruiting side of things, we got um, Alfie Hill today. A kid from North Carolina. He's the number, uh, Rivals have has him as the number nine defensive end in the nation. Number 77th. He's the 77th best player in the nation. And he's fourth in the state of North Carolina. So, uh, 
He is 6'4". They got him at 250. So that is Rolando McClain and Dante Hightower's size. They got him as a jack linebacker. And he runs a 4.5, so he's pretty fast, a big kid, real fast. So, good pickup. Uh, recruiting's still going good. I mean, uh, Nick Saban is, is really, really doing good in recruiting. Uh, he just signed a contract, and it just got approved uh, till 2017. So, that's good news. Um, you know, stadium expansion. Everything's going good. I mean... It's good time to be an Alabama fan. It's it's everything. Everything's going up. You know, recruiting. We got an awesome coach. Stadium expansion. Uh, we got one of the best weight room, weight rooms in the nation. Um, they just redid uh, Nick Saban's office for him, and you know, they're just upgrading all the time. And uh, you know, it's it's awesome. I enjoy uh, how we're moving forward, and we're we're rising, and we will soon be, uh, you know, we're going to be a national contender every single year, but we're fixing to start bringing that trophy home every year. Uh, you know, I think we're going to be the one to represent the West every single year pretty soon. But as far as that, that's it. I mean, really, I have nothing to say uh, about this coming up game. I think it's going to be domination. I think we're going to come out and... Uh, Show everybody that we are ranked number four in the nation, and and we're not going to play down to our opponent. So um, I will get on here probably later on this week, maybe uh, Saturday, Sunday after the game. Maybe I don't know. Uh, but roll tide, and y'all keep y'all's videos up. I enjoy all y'all's videos that that y'all out here making. Um, Don V, like I said before, Virginia Tech. I'm gonna be watching them. I'm ready to see what, you know, they need to run the table, make us look better. But, uh, you know, and we run the table, make y'all look better. I hope y'all win the ACC. But, anyways, that's it. Roll Tide, and uh, I'll catch y'all later with another video. See y'all.